สวยใส่แบบนี้ด้วยต้องไปหาจับไปแค่ไหนบ้างที่ใช่ไหมเนี่ยอุกเมียบาสเนี่ยอุกเมียบาสเอ็นที่ลุกเล็กปาราดิสสปริงเวนปาราดิสซิมเดฟเฟอร์ส์คอมเมนต์ได้ไหมพี่ครับโน้ยพอดีสุดสัมผัสกันเลยที่นี่คือวันอังคารที่ดีที่สุดของประเทศซานฟรานซิสโกและซานฟรานซิสโกเอสในที่นี้เราได้900ลูกที่เราได้รับความสุขที่เราได้รับความสุขจากการให้กำลังใจและความสุขวันนี้เราได้รับการส่งมอบของบางของบริการที่เราได้รับมาให้กับทุกคนในพื้นที่ที่เราได้รับมาให้กับทุกคนในพื้นที่ที่เราได้รับมาให้กับทุกคนในพื้นที่ที่เราได้รับมาให้กับทุกคนในพื้นที่ที่เราได้รับมาให้กับทุกคนในพื้นที่ที่เราได้รับมาให้กับทุกคนในพื้นที่ที่เราได้รับมาให้กับทุกคนในพื้นที่ที่เราได้รับมาให้กับทุกคนในพื้นที่ที่เราได้รับมาให้กับทุกคนในพื้นที่ที่เราได้รับมา And we have the Southerners in concert at uh, Sapa. So it's been a wonderful day so far. It is honestly a pleasure to be able to unplug from the rigors of Parliament and the Attorney General's office and to come back to the sanctity and beauty of your constituency to just do good, positive work. So today has been a great day. I want to thank all of our team members um, from the constituency office. And the very many people that wrap 900 gifts and bag them out, etc., because it means a lot to the children in particular and the families that we've managed to touch today. Your Christmas wishes for 2018. So Christmas 2018 and January 2019 coming. The genuine wish is that our country finds hope. Hope is something that has to be seen. Hope is something that has to be felt. Hope is something that has to carry you on a journey to believing that you can get to where you want to go. We have enough that is right in this country to focus upon. Far too often we focus on all of the negatives. But I want to tell you, as a member of Parliament, elected by people, there's a lot of good in this society, and there's a lot of benefit. The government will do its part. We will enable. We will catalyze. We think that good choices equal to hope. Making a good choice for a commissioner of police has brought hope to this country. Making a good choice for the manner in which we change the economy and manage our oil and gas, as you saw yesterday, with BP signing a deal of 1.8 billion US dollars, that gives you hope that our economy begins to grow. We have a lot to give this year in terms of work product. We understand that people are no longer interested. In just the promise, they want to see the results, and I can tell you that 2019 is going to be a results-oriented year, and the government is confident of what it has to deliver. That, in a package, means that hope becomes reality, and I just pray that our people can learn to pay it forward. Last week, this week, losing track of time, some wonderful citizen actually bothered to catch a positive moment. Something that, that I did, but which all of us do all day long. Every one of us stopped to help people and stopped to bring a little bit of sanity back to life. If I had one challenge for Trinidad and Tobago this year, it's to pay it forward. And what I mean by that, 
Don't pay back a favor that somebody did for you because that person did something for you. Pay a random gift of kindness forward to somebody who you have no relationship with. To the people in society that are comfortable, remember those who are not comfortable. Stretch yourselves to paying something forward. If we each take an act of kindness and manage to carry it together, this country is a beautiful place. So Trinidad and Tobago, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year coming, lots more to come. I wish you well. AG, I'm going to ask you a little, sure. a little something different. Um, that, was, that, was the, that was the run up to the wicket, Ivan. Go ahead. So, so we said today, um, this fiasco going on with um, Levan Maraj, I don't know what you mean. Uh, today he published probably the full cabinet. Was my name in it? Because if so, it's been on um, Rundown, it's been on KFC Buckets, thanks to The Guardian, etc. Listen, this publication of names and numbers, my numbers are a fairly public number. Each and every one of you have it. My constituents have it. There's no secret behind it. This isn't an issue of privacy. Far be it that that is the case. It's a simple issue. Crashing the system. I noticed the media has not carried a very important conversation called doxing. In fact, I'm aware that the media association sent out uh, its own communication saying, don't talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. And I see you smiling, Ivan, because you know what I'm saying is true. Doxing is where you go out of your way to crash a system using certain truths. So if you dox the Prime Minister, who is the head of the National Security Council, if you inundate a Prime Minister with things that cause his system not to work, he can't answer the phone, he cannot make a phone call, he's getting a thousand WhatsApp messages, text messages, you're crushing the system. This is actually something which is akin to cybercrime, and this is something which we in the Parliament will deal with in the legislative measures that we have. So. Mr. Maraj, who I've had a very good relationship with, if you ask him, he'll say the same about me. He's doing his part. But what he's really doing is he is doxing the system. He is inundating the system to crash it. If this is the way the UNC thinks it is productive to run a society, then you have to ask your questions. Why didn't you dox the UNC when you were in public? Why was Mrs. Passard Bicessa's number not given to everybody so that the whole country could have called her. Because I'm sure the country would have called her on email gate, on prison gate, on life sport, on section 34, on ganja gate. Why was that number not given out then? We make no complaint in the PNM other than saying it is not a matter of privacy. It's a matter of making sure the systems that you asked us to run can actually run. You must notice that we went to the population. I went as attorney general and told the population in the anti-gang legislation that we knew by name and location the members of gang activity in Trinidad and Tobago. You are now seeing a commissioner of police carrying out the policing side of that equation. When you crash the national security system by doxing the system, that seems to me to be what the UNC intends. So I just ask sensible people in this country to know good sense from poor judgment and to just simply abide by allowing the work of the people to proceed. Again, it's just something that one could only ask for. I personally have not been a victim of any um, unnecessary communication. I'm pleased to be a public servant and to do my part. But obviously, some people are intent on causing maliciousness, as was done specifically in relation to the Prime Minister, which I genuinely take an issue with. So let me see if doxing makes the news. <laughs> Off record now. Go back to the meeting.